that that's bad oh yeah it's bad all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get the engine on the engine stand I got it all bolted up. So this thing's ready to go on the engine stand. Got all these tightened and all these are tightened. This one's from the engine itself. Uh, that's for the power steering. So let me make sure. Yeah, yeah. so that long one there is for the power steering. Uh, this is the, yeah, so M10 by 1.25 by 80 millimeters is actually really good if you're using the Harbor Freight uh, engine stand and you can see this thing's pretty much ready to go up Now we have a great working view of the engine, timing components, everything. We can, we got a perfect shot of the spark plugs. This is, uh, this is going to be pretty good. All right, guys, it's a new day, and I'm going to get to work on taking the intake off.
up. All right, so let's get a look at these valves. That's bent. It's real bad. Let me get you guys in here. All right, so we can clearly see that valve's bent. Let me get you as good a view as I can. So you can see that valve's bent. That valve's bent. That valve's bent, or the valve guide's broken. And the rod, the, that's bent. Valve guide's broken, that's bent. Valve guide's broken, that's bent. Valve guide's broken, that's bent. And that valve guide is broken too. So we've got a lot of lot of damage. Wow. All right, let's get to taking this head off. see where the pistons have made contact damage oh man I don't know if this is gonna be fixable why couldn't you just blow a head gasket so I guess we can get you guys in on the head real quick all right so let's take a look let's Flick that gasket right off of there. And there you have it. So these valves are actually dug into the head. Sorry, let me actually focus. So those are actually in the head. These are actually in the head bent. These are actually stuck in the head. Every single exhaust valve. So every single exhaust valve is punched into the uh, the side there I guess I could have scoped this and figured this out but ah, man that sucks but I'll tell you one thing you can definitely see the cross hatching pretty well which is really good so there's not a lot of cylinder wear this was a result of this uh, 
that's for the crank sensor the crankshaft sensor so this thing somehow got folded over and it allowed the timing belt to jump timing uh, I guess in the meantime I'm gonna be looking for a new engine but, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video uh, maybe subscribe help me out here uh, we're pushing 250 subscribers and growing you know we'll catch you later deuces <laughs>